I'm A.M. Barrett, and this is a video about movement, action, space, and vision. Massive. We're going to talk today about spatial neglect. So, in 2006, Stephanie Burkholder and I at Penn State wrote a paper in which we talked about this syndrome, um, in which people have trouble with orienting, responding, or acting in a symmetric way in both sides of space after a brain lesion. And when this causes functional disability, this was the important part of our paper, is that we propose that this be the definition. Uh, we call this spatial neglect, right? Because this asymmetric orientation, response, and action can cause people to make errors that are functionally relevant. Well, a question that I get asked very frequently, a clinical neurology question, is how can we distinguish spatial neglect from hemianopia, which is a visual field deficit. All right, hemianopia, as many of you know, is a deficit that comes about when part of the brain in the back, that's the main support of the visual system, the occipital cortex, is damaged on one side. So then we have what's called a visual field defect, and it goes the opposite way from the part of the brain that's damaged. So if the right occipital cortex is damaged, we find that the left side of the visual field, from the center of the retina all the way to the left, both eyes, is abnormal. All right, however, spatial neglect, this problem with orientation, responding, or action in both sides of space can come from the parietal lobe of the brain here, from the frontal lobes of the brain, from the temporal lobes of the brain, or even from subcortical regions of the brain like the thalamus or the putamen, or from limbic regions like the anterior cingulate cortex. Um, so again, distinguishing the patient who has spatial neglect, this asymmetric orienting, responding, or action that causes functional disability, that's our definition, from somebody who has hemianopia is easy and you can uh, follow the following principles, and I'll sketch out the method. So the principle is that hemianopia, because it's a visual field defect, is what we call retinotopic. So it's determined by the position of a visual stimulus on the retina. So if something comes in, if these are straight light rays, um, something that's falling on my retina on this side is going to be damaged, if I have a, is, anything that falls on my retina on this side is going to be abnormal if I have a left hemianopia. Whereas spatial neglect doesn't respect the, the nice up and down halfway point of the retina. Rather, spatial neglect in general, although there can be some exceptions, respects the right and left side of the body, and in particular, the aiming motor intentional action form of neglect. Um, is very centered on body right and body left. And as you know, my body can be in my left visual field, and my right body space can be in my right visual field, it could be in my left visual field, depending on where my head is. So there are a number of ways that we can test the patient in order to distinguish the spatial neglect from the hemianopia. And the first thing to do is to test the patient just like you would if you were doing visual field testing. And that means that the examiner is, is lined up with the midline of the patient so that the patient's left side is here and the patient's right side is here. And here's my beautiful drawing that I've made. Okay, so you can see the patient's right side and left side. Now, the difficulty with this, with this situation, I know you all are very envious of my beautiful drawing now, um, is that you don't know if a person has trouble with this side, you don't know if the problem is that they have a hemianopia on that side, a visual field loss, right, or they can't see it, or if the problem is neglect of left space, because the left body space and the left visual field are lined up. So what we need to do is we need to dissociate those two things. So what we can do is this. So the examiner, very simply, if the patient has a difficulty on the left side when we're lined up, we can just move into the patient's good space. So after a right brain lesion, usually the good space is the patient's right side of space. So if we move into the patient's right side of space and test the visual fields again, having the patient look right at us then this is the left visual field. But this is the right body space. And if the patient can see even one stimulus here, it's not a hemianopia. 
the patient has some spatial neglect.